Good evening and salam Ibu Pertiwiko. The death toll from a late night Taliban suicide attack in the Afghan capital rose to 16 civilians today, with 119 people wounded. Thick black smoke rose from the Green Village, home to several international organizations and guest houses, and often a target of attacks, a peril to nearby local residents as well. Angry Kabul residents climbed over the wall into the international compound, which has been targeted frequently and set part of it on fire. Taliban spokesman Zabihullah Mujahid said the attack was a response to raids by U.S. and Afghan forces on civilians in other parts of the country. While he acknowledged there should be less harm to civilians, he said they shouldn't be living near such an important foreign compound. Interior Ministry spokesman Nasrat Rahimi said some 400 foreigners had been rescued after the suicide bomber targeted the compound late on Monday. Iran President Hassan Rouhani said it will never hold bilateral talks with the United States, but if it lifts all the sanctions it reimposed on Iran, it can join multilateral talks between Iran and other parties to a 2015 nuclear deal. U.S. President Donald Trump, although applying maximum pressure on Iran, has offered to meet its leaders and hold bilateral talks with no preconditions to end the confrontation between their countries. Last month, Rouhani said Iran would not talk to its longtime foe until the United States lifted all the sanctions it reimposed after it exited the 2015 nuclear deal last year. European parties to the deal have struggled to calm the deepening confrontation between Iran and the United States and save the deal by shielding Iran's economy from the sanctions. Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam has denied ever offering to resign after audio was leaked of her saying she would if she could. On Monday, a recording of a private meeting emerged where she is heard saying, if I have a choice, the first thing is to quit. I don't want to spend your time or waste your time for you to ask me uh, what went wrong and why went wrong. But for a chief executive, to have caused this, this huge havoc to Hong Kong is unforgivable. It's just unforgivable. If I have a choice, the first thing is to quit. <laughs> Having made a deep apology is to step. She said today she had never tendered any resignation, but did not deny the authenticity of the recording. The audio was recorded at a private meeting of business leaders that Mrs. Lam attended last week. In it, she is heard blaming herself for igniting the territory's political crisis, saying it was unforgivable of her to have caused such huge havoc. At a weekly press conference, Mrs. Lam said it was totally unacceptable that her remarks made in private had been recorded and passed to the media. Well, that's all the news for now. I am Razi Ahmad. Thank you for watching.